there may be numerous reasons why you may want to use the slice relief tool, including maybe for 3D printing. In this case, I have a really large relief that I want to machine, but the height of it, as you can see, is over 750 millimeters. This will not fit under the gantry of the CNC to be machined. So I'd like to slice the relief up into sections, which can then be added on top of each other afterwards. The slice relief tool does not have an icon on the toolbar. So what you will need to do is select the relief dropdown and then select edit. And then finally slice reliefs, which is located at the bottom of the form. This will open up a dialog for the slice relief tool. You can do this over specific relief or over the entire model. Either enter a slice thickness or enter the number of slices that you require. The slice two section allows you to select relief layers, RLF files, which can be useful to create a library within the clip art library, SVG files, PNG, or DXF files, useful for various lasers and 3D printers. I'm choosing to slice to relief layers and select apply. If you keep an eye on the relief layers in the project tree, you will see the slices it creates. When finished, it will turn all of the layers visibility off. Turning each one back on shows each slice, which can be machined separately and then attached together after machining. 